The area woman suffering from a debilitating medical condition was at the lowest point in her life. In fact, she was so desperate she was ready to die, but she ended up in the right place at the right time to meet the right people. KPIX5 producer Molly McRae and I have the story of a chance encounter that helped solve a true medical mystery. The Golden Gate Bridge. Many stop to admire its beauty, but some see the landmark in a much darker light. Four years ago, a Bay Area woman walked onto the bridge intending to die by suicide. But what happened next was totally unexpected and simply astonishing. It's amazing. Talk about perfect timing. Meet Debbie Menzies and her husband, Robert. I, I look at it as, as a miracle. On that day, on that bridge, Debbie was at the end of her rope. I just could not uh, deal with it anymore. It was a lifetime of uncontrolled seizures and a persistent depression. As a child, doctors diagnosed Debbie with epilepsy, but medications had little effect. To make matters worse, several times a day, she felt strange electrical sensations in her head. Add to that decades of feeling deeply despondent. I've lived a life wondering what is wrong with me. There's something else wrong with me. It's not just epilepsy. Back on the bridge, she was about to jump. At that point, I felt a tap on my shoulder. An alert bridge worker stopped her and called an ambulance. That ambulance brought Debbie here to Zuckerberg General Hospital, where she was admitted. The team taking care of her was baffled by her uncontrolled seizures. They called the doctor on duty, UCSF neurologist Dr. Paul Garcia. Each individual seizure is kind of a puzzle. Dr. Garcia only goes to the hospital a few times a year. That weekend, he just happened to be on call. She's a memorable person, so I remember her being very clear about the symptoms that she was having. Debbie said when she had a seizure, people described her as laughing and smiling. That caught the doctor's attention. He had a hunch. And he asked me, have you ever had a brain MRI? And I said, no. Garcia ordered an MRI. The results? It was like I, I, I couldn't believe it, you know, that it shocked me. Deep in Debbie's brain, there was a tiny growth about the size of a lemon seed. It was on a critical part of the brain called the hypothalamus, which manages a lot, including parts of the nervous system and mood. Anything that alters the circuitry of the hypothalamus is like throwing a monkey wrench in one of the major control centers of the brain. The growth is called a hypothalamic hamartoma. Debbie was likely born with it. As for treatment, brain surgery. And I said, sign me up. So the location of the hypothalamus turns out to be pretty much right in the middle of the head. There are a variety of different ways that you can get there, almost all of which are dangerous. Top UCSF neurosurgeon Dr. Edward Chang caught her case, and he had a cutting-edge plan in place. We've been uh, pioneering the use of a new technology called laser thermal ablation. Uh, laser probe is coming right down to that spot. Dr. Chang inserted a very thin probe through a tiny hole in Debbie's head. Using GPS coordinates, he guided it precisely to the tiny growth. Precision was quite quite important for this procedure. On the tip of the probe, a laser that, when activated, destroyed the growth. It's beautiful, isn't it? Immediately after surgery, no more seizures and no more depression. It's quite a, a new life, a new, a new start. Her doctors are thrilled. I feel really honored that I had the opportunity to take care of Debbie. It's tremendously gratifying. As for Debbie, all I can say is, I owe my life to them. A life that, thanks to serendipity or some greater plan, can be lived knowing there's always hope on the horizon. I need to thank producer Molly McRae for all of her fantastic work putting that entire story together. Now, doctors 